They say this is the number one reason that we're all going broke now, and it has nothing to do with inflation. Stock market, I think, just set a record today, crossed 40000 for the first time ever. Oh, Must wow. be because of that GameStop. I don't know what's going on. But I do know this. If you are spaving, you are the problem. It's time for El Cheapo. It's time to talk to the kingpin of cheap. Here she is, El Cheapo. My first piece of advice with spaving is if you spave right, it is worth it. And when there are things in the store that you see that say buy three, get one free, that's not worth it. You have to buy three of them. Now, BOGOs, or buy one, get one 50% off, if you have planned out the use of that item, it is 100% worth it. But I say you do have to stay on top of it. You can't forget that you have the other one. You have to make sure that if it's perishable, you're going through it. You have meal planning to incorporate that ingredient. You got to plan ahead. But if you do it properly, I think it is a win-win. If you are spaving or you have spaved, which is spending a lot to save, which kind of sounds like that trend of, quote, like hot girl math, girl math, as they they say, like, mm-hmm. oh, I buy this, but then I return it, so the store actually gives me money. And you're like, no, that's just your own money you're getting back. Right. And I hear that sort of thing all the time, but I am a sucker for the spave because, like you said, I'll be at checkout at Ralph's or something, and they'll say, like, buy two packs of M&M's, get a free pack of M&M's. And you're like, now, but you were only going to buy one but pack. I know. I, I wasn't going to buy any. I was not going <laughs> to buy any M&M's. But then I'm like, huh, hold on one second. So let me do some math here. This means if I... And then next thing I know, I'm sitting in my car, and I've eaten three packs of M&M's, which I wasn't going to eat You weren't even going to eat them, right, so, and now you've spent money that you weren't going to spend. Right, and you feel, you get that feeling supposedly like, oh, man, I just I just got one over on the man. Mm-hmm. You know, I take that, Mars Corporation. <laughs> and reality is I'm the sucker because I just put on five pounds yeah. eating a bunch of M&M's in my car. Mm-hmm. Look, they were all the shareable size, too, and I didn't share. <laughs> King size shareable. Yeah. Well, the times that I've gone wrong are for a while. Katie and I were like, why don't we not buy a bottle of wine or two here and there throughout the week? Why don't we go to Vons and oh, get yeah. that that you know that carrier case? Off. Yeah, because you get a lot of money off if you buy them all at once. The problem is once you get home, you've got all this wine, and you're like, we've got wine. Open up a bottle, and, and then you're going through it twice as fast. And that's the reality is that they know whenever they do the buy more, save more, whatever, they know that we have no self restraint. Mm-hmm. And they also know that once we have it, that's the hardest thing for them to get us to do is make a purchase. But once we make the purchase, mm-hmm. we're like thinking, you know, it's like all those, uh, you know, use for, uh, you know, use for 200 days and then return it. Like other than people like Allie that bring back dead plants to Home Depot. Oh, I tried to return lotion yesterday. They wouldn't let me. But, <laughs> but, really? but, really? <laughs> well, on Amazon, yeah. That's so sad. It wasn't the right blend. You're so sad. Anyway, when right it has scotch. worked for me <laughs> is when... Is when uh, with clothing. So a lot of people will be like, oh, I have to pick up a shirt for th- something or I'm just browsing. I'm going to pick up things here and there. Don't do that. Wait just to do a, two or three shops per year and open a new credit card when you do it oh. and buy a crap ton at once so that you've got everything that you need for any possible events, anything but just to load you know? up. How do you know what events you have for an entire year? And also, what if you change? Like, you just lost 50 pounds. So all the clothes you bought that were triple t- XLs you can't wear anymore? Well, I mean, for the most part, people will, for the most part, people only fluctuate five to 10 pounds. So, you know, you would have a little bit of wiggle room there. But I, especially if I somehow have driven by an outlet, I will adjust my schedule and make sure I have time to hit up all the outlets so that I can load up on things. And I will spend a significant amount of money at that point because I know it will stop me from doing little shops and buying things at full price throughout the year. 510, uh, I'm guessing Spave is like spending money, save money, deals like buying something Costco that you wouldn't normally get because there's a big deal if you get a lot of it. Now, that's a great example of a place where if I feel like a steak, you don't leave there with one steak, you leave there with 15 steaks. And they say, oh, put them in the freezer. But... Yeah, I, that's what I do at Costco. I'll yeah. buy all my stuff. I'll just buy a ton of salmon, a ton of chicken, a ton of ground turkey, all the stuff that but we you gotta, normally eat. But Omar eat. said, like, Omar's right. you got to stay on top of that because what ends up happening yeah. is you leave it in the freezer, you forget about it, and then in, a, in two years I you find I don't forget about it. I know exactly what bit. I have. Well, then that's then you are the one person that I guess is doing it right because the rest of us are all doing it wrong. And I get that El Cheapo is not who they were thinking about, but for the most part... They say that we're overspending, thinking that we're actually saving money in the long run. Mm-hmm. But, but the- you could do a lot better if you took that money. Let's just say over the course of a month, you're spending an extra $500 on buying extra stuff because you think you're saving. If you were to supposedly put that money into, 
you know, any of these things that make money, like uh, like a Roth IRA, right? One of those boring things. <laughs> Supposedly, you'd be doing a lot better mm-hmm. off than doing than loading up on toothpaste. Yeah, is I what would they're say saying. don't do it with things that perish quickly. Like you bought Costco hummus one time, thinking, "Oh, I'm spaving here." And then you had so much stress trying to go through all the Costco hummus. That was the worst. <laughs> that was my yeah. whole so life. So you're the example of what not to do. But Omar, you spave. I spave, yeah. The Stater Brothers, I use a lot of like, you know, since I've been cooking with Claudia, I use a lot of cheese. And uh, <laughs> I have done and, a couple uh, of her recipes and it is so much cheese. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of cheese. Uh, and, and, uh, look, anyone can be a chef with enough cheese. I mean, totally. let's be honest, put enough cheese. It's like, and then we'll mix this heavy cream and whip it up and mix it with the cheese. And yeah. you're like, oh it's my so God. so good. Yeah, but Stater Brothers, you know, they have the cheese for seven bucks. But if you buy two, uh, they come to five bucks each. Cool. So Omar, yeah, 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 yeah. Omar spaving on the cheese. Uh, yep. The text line's full of these uh, fa- spaving fails. I mean, so many of them, including the uh, buy four, get one. It's like you end up forgetting stuff. You end up moving, throwing stuff out. I've wasted more money spaving. Someone says they think they wasted $1,000 trying to buy, buy a bunch of stuff in bulk. They I mean, spaving it. is what has made Costco such a success. Oh, I have. My wife is the, the, the king, the queen of not spaving correctly. I have so many lentils. Here at the house. It's, it, it, it's like, what are you doing? We don't yeah, need lentils. I know. Don't do it. Especially if you have a kid that has, like, you know, their taste change. Maybe there's something they like one week and don't the next week. Don't buy it in bulk at Costco. And if you're going to do subscription services, make sure it's something you use all the time. Thank you, El Cheapo. This is K Rock. Hey, thanks for checking out some of our radio show on K Rock. Just between you and me, we're about to fire Alley, so hopefully you didn't get used to her too much. But thanks for checking it out, and we appreciate you checking out the live radio show. And, uh, hey, what are you guys doing? Nothing. But you're, doing, you're filming something. Aren't they supposed to be involved in this? We're not filming anything. There's a camera right there. Just uh, part of the. Bye!